follow this option so i'm just um, uh, taking this frame and right after that in frame uh, i'm just putting a number and uh, in auto layout you, you just need to fix these things uh, and uh, there is no actually um, i mean strict rules to make your uh, auto layout i'm just making it uh, for this uh, so you can actually make different and i'm just resizing in fixed width and fixed height it will be and just select these options and uh, it's depend on your uh, requirements um, just name it as a default so just copy this and paste it you can so this first option will be default and the second option second options other options will be actually hover uh, i mean when you are just uh, uh, moving your uh, mouse over this it will change so uh, for this uh, i just need to change the color of the hover frame So I just changed it uh, slightly and uh, after hover uh, for the active state I am also changing these colors and so it will be a more deeper than the hover. So after that uh, just create as a multiple components for all of these three options and because you need to uh, make this as a variant so in variant uh, I am just making the state of these three different options and uh, in prototype this will be while hovering options and it will change color and uh, from hovering to on click it will change and uh, just do another prototype from last to first one and it will be on uh, mouse move leave when while mouse you will uh, leave your mouse from this active so it will change in the first state uh, uh, this was the first component for this uh, calendar design and right after that i am just taking a mm, bigger frame for the whole calendar so just take uh, uh, any size of frame and uh, put your uh, design inside it and uh, you, you guys actually know the uh, design of any calendar so you can do it uh, according to your test or according to your demand so just follow these steps while I am just designing this uh, whole frame section I am writing the month's name and the year uh, so you can change actually the font size or font style if you want and i think the size is okay for this and changing these colors a little bit and i think black is okay for this now with the pen tool i am just making a arrow sign so just making it a little bit larger and the shape will be round and right after that i'm just uh, making it a little bit smaller because it was a little bit bigger than
think it's okay and I'm just making this resizing options for auto layout and just copy this because I am just uh, writing this uh, as a band select all of this and put it in the middle and in the auto layout option so it will work as a responsive component uh, maybe you guys know about the responsive components how to make so I am just changing the name of the day so for the seven days I am just changing these names and right after that uh, the thing I need to actually do is um, copying this uh, component and I will make this uh, actually I can copy all of the things in all together and I am just changing these uh, dates so uh, just just do it as manually and uh, right after that you can actually uh, need to resize these options yeah, put it in middle and uh, it will work as a responsive and uh, copy this uh, under the first line and, and uh, again you actually need to correct these options uh, manually so for this I am duplicating these things and uh, you can actually duplicate as much as you want because uh, uh, for the whole month you just uh, 1 to 30 and right after that I am just changing these numbers manually and you can do it by yourself maybe I need a second row for this uh, so I am just increasing the frame size horizontally and uh, right after that I think that I will um, I will maybe delete this uh, other sections after 30 so now add the auto layout for the whole uh, calendar and uh, manually fix this position of the numbers and the other uh, writings in your calendar and it will be fill container and 